Hey everyone, Sky Elizabeth here and today I'm going to talk to you about an upcoming exhibition that I am working on. I'm not doing it solo, this will be um, my first exhibition in a very very long time but I'm actually going to be doing a joint exhibition with Kerry Everett who is another beautiful artist who does a lot of reef work and the theme of our exhibition is actually going to be of course the reef and ocean and all the stuff that we love and yeah we want to share the journey with you tucked into my workstation here everywhere I've got my butler's trolley laden up with goods I have um, my little work table where I do my editing and my visual journal work everything is all sitting here this is my this is essentially my office so at the moment I just move the pillow I have one of my pieces tucked in here that I'm working on well I've already finished this one so that's one ready to go it's the one that I'm currently working on over here. So I've almost set up the room like inspiration. There's another painting that is ready to go. So I'm hoping to have like maybe 15 to 20 pieces, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. I have just completed another fish painting. I'll show you that right now. Have a look. So I have that one and of course the turtle one that I just showed you as well. So, so far I have one, two, three, four, four pieces completed, five I'm working on at the moment and I have a sixth one that's actually at my workplace at the moment. I work on some of my paintings at school so my students can get inspiration by seeing me work on my stuff. So there is a sixth one there as well. So we only... We haven't done our proposal yet. We only will get, once the proposal is approved, we'll probably get like a year, maybe a year and a half to complete these paintings. So the plan is that, look, I'll still be finishing up the last few of my um, commission paintings that I've got at the moment, but I'll actually be closing myself for commissions this year in 2021, just so I can work on my exhibition. But don't stress, I will be open again in 2022. For commissions and in the meantime I'm gonna have all these beautiful reef paintings coming out and uh, reproduction prints of these will be available in either poster or canvas or whichever format that you'd like them as well as the originals will be for sale but look the reason for this vlog is I wanted to let you guys follow the entire journey as it unfolds and yeah I'll keep doing little updates as we go and hopefully throwing in some little snippets of when Kerry and I are out trying to get our inspiration, of course, from the source, which is the Great Barrier Reef. Um, yeah, and we'll keep you in the loop. I am currently about to start um, the very first part of doing Manta Manta. It's the next piece in the exhibition. Um, I just thought this is going to be the first painting that I actually vlog about step by step. Um, I would like to, I've decided I would like to actually record and document the stages of doing this series so that when we have the exhibition, we've got process work, not only in our visual journals, but also um, also process work that we have vloggingly. Vloggingly, is that even a word? Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is uh, what I am doing today. Okay, so I wanted to walk you through uh, my visual journal work so far. So manta rays is something that are quite special to me. I have still, at this point, right now it is the 18th of April 2021. I have never seen a manta ray still, but I dearly want to. So look, I've documented the symbolism behind the manta ray. Look, the biggest thing with them is they are so full of poise and grace. If you've ever seen one swimming, which I have not, 
I'm actually hoping that in doing the process of this manta ray painting, that because I am painting them, hopefully it's gonna call them into coming to see me when I go scuba diving or out to, out to sea anyway. That's my big hope. Whether it happens or not, who knows. Okay, so the manta ray is full of grace and poise. Um, the symbolism that I found on the internet for the manta ray that really resonated with me was that, you know, they represent stability and security and that, you know, for me, they're about slowing down and meditation. So my concept is I would like to show the manta ray teaching us to slow down and enjoy life and meditate. To show this, my concept is, look, manta rays will go and hang around a um, cleaning station with the little cleaner asses, and I wanted to show a bommy and have them beautifully gliding around the cleaner station. That is my vision. At the moment, I am working on concepts to make sure I get the sand correct, so I've got that stuff in my visual journal. Okay, so I've pulled apart my reference image for the color schemes that I wanted and I've laid out the colors I need. To get my horizon line really straight, there's lots of different ways you could do that, but I've chose to measure it down 50 centimeters on both sides, and I've just taped it up, just so I can get that basic horizon line. Later on, I'll take that off and I'll soften it up. doesn't look like a lot at the moment it pretty well looks scruffy that's what it's all about it's all about underpainting it's about getting down those basic colors for me right now it was about trying to get that match of that aqua turquoise color just right before I can start overlaying the other colors through it so remember underpainting is really important so now I will leave that for a little bit to dry and then I will come and work back over it layers and layers okay so step two look I've I've come along and I've just marked out where I think I'm gonna put my sand ridges um, also where I'm gonna put the bommy and a bit of the bommy in the foreground so we'll see how we go okay guys so that is it for the first part of my vlog um, I will keep you up to date as I do more on this painting um, also, you'll probably, you know, if you're following me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see me put updates probably more so on Facebook. I'm very, very vocal on Facebook. Um, so keep an eye on there and you'll see more updates as I go. Um, but yeah, I'll stop the vlog for now and we will continue on.